Welcome back to Lie Detector, everybody. The abominable snowman. The Loch Ness Monster. I mean, a rogues gallery of scary creatures, but none compares to the legendary Bigfoot. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I see those creepy pictures of that Bigfoot walking across a grassy meadow, it always sends shivers up my back. Our next guest says he can ease our anxiety by eliminating at least one name from the Monster Hall of Fame. Why, you ask? Because he says he's Bigfoot. Legends like Bigfoot seem to have always been around. But Bob Hieronymus says that the myth of the giant Yeti exploded onto the scene in the late 1960s when he was filmed in a remote part of Northern California wearing a furry ape suit. Bob says it was hard work. He spent time perfecting the now infamous arm swinging, big stepping Bigfoot walk and negotiated the uneven terrain through tiny slits in the scary looking mask. He says the suit was hot, too, layered with heavy animal-like fur. Bob nearly fainted from the heat of the day. No sooner did the film of Bob hit the local news broadcast than the Bigfoot frenzy hit a feverish pitch. Bigfoot, a huge, hairy, bad-smelling creature thought by some to stomp around in the snow. Overnight, Bigfoot sightings were occurring, well, virtually everywhere. Bob could only laugh knowing that he was the real Bigfoot. Bob's finally going public, even though he knows that some folks still want to believe in the legend. Really, Bigfoot, or just a big liar? The lie detector is soon to find out. Bob, you're here today with a very unusual claim, that you are actually Bigfoot. That's right. Th I don't think there are many people who have not seen that shadowy picture of this beast going through the woods looking back over his shoulder and you're telling me that that wasn't sasquatch that wasn't bigfoot that was you in a costume that was me in a costume in 1967 in the roger patterson bigfoot film yes how did this happen well i ran around with uh, roger for a while and he figured uh, that he would make a suit or have a suit made have somebody wear it, they would take a film of it and prove to the world that, you know, there was re a real Bigfoot. Well, uh, I was a big, stout guy, you know, back then, and that's who they needed. They needed somebody they could trust, and uh, asked me if I would do it for $1,000. $1,000 a thousand dollars a lot of money. A lot of money then. Yeah. So I, heck yeah, as long as it's illegal, I'll do it, you know. That's right. Because it's not against the law to run around the woods with a suit on them. So <laughs> I uh, agreed to do it. So, uh, I met Roger up at his house. He lived about 15 miles above us up there. And, uh, I went up there and uh, tried the suit on. So yeah. it was a furry suit. It was, it was like a, a furry, gorilla suit. Yeah, it was a furry looking thing, yeah. And what was the head part like? How yeah. did you put it on? Uh, I put it on like a, like a football helmet. And um, I walked back and forth the way he wanted me to walk, the, the Bigfoot walk. And, uh, he said, that's perfect. That's just what we want. So um, a week or two later, um, took off for California. It's a Bluff Creek Road where the film was made. Uh, they had a camp set up there. And the next morning, we got up and uh, had some coffee or whatever. I don't know if we cooked up or what, but and they helped me into the suit. And uh, Roger told me to go over this certain place and stand. And when he yelled or gave me the signal to do the Bigfoot walk down through there. And what was the Bigfoot walk? How well, would you describe it? He, he wanted me to look kind of like a gorilla, you know, swing your arms back, you know, and take long strides. And, uh, and then I had to turn and like, uh, you know, I, they said that not a, no human being could turn like I did. Turn your hips, you know, as you're walking uh -huh. and turn back to look at him. Well, no big deal, but I walked down through there. They said, uh, uh, cut, you know, that's it. That's enough. And uh, it was really, really hot that day in Northern California, and I was, uh, it was a sweat was just pouring on me in that thing. And I, I jumped down behind this, this big old tree had blown over, and I jumped in this big hole down there. I was afraid somebody was going to shoot me, you know, all this time going down through there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, somebody might think you, you were the real thing and shoot you there. Huh? Anybody probably would if they saw it. But, uh, I jumped down in this hole anyway, so I said, get this. At least got the head and the stuff off, you know, so I could get a little bit of air. And uh, we got done, uh, you know, with the filming and uh, took the suit off, and we went back down to the the camp where the, the where they were camped. And uh, the next day, I drove home and uh, I went up to the local water hole where all the guys hung out, and uh, I lifted the trunk up. And I said, uh, "Take a look at this." 
I didn't tell him what it was. I said, just look at this and do not forget what this looks like. Well, two or three weeks later, up come the movie, you know, on the television, the film. Mm -hmm. I said, aha, uh -huh. that's what you were doing, you know. They brought my horse home the next day, I think it was, and uh, took the suit out of the car. That's the last I ever saw of that original Bigfoot suit. Why did you show the suit to those guys? Because I wanted them to know, you know, when they found out what it was, that I wasn't lying. But I really did do this. When you saw on that film the Bigfoot image that so many of us saw and so many of us believed, what were you thinking at home all those years when we were buying this hook, line, and sinker? I was hoping, well, maybe if I keep my mouth shut, someday they'll pay me the money. So did you ever feel guilty? No, no, because it wasn't illegal to do that, you know. But you tricked America. Uh, I was supposed to have been paid for wearing a suit in the woods, you know. I didn't care what they'd done with the suit, you know, or what they'd done with the film. But you never felt bad that here you were part of a hoax that would trick people like me into believing there was a swamp monster running around out there. No, it didn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever Press. think to yourself, now, y'all, this is wrong? Well, they, they, he was going to make money off this. He's, he had this pretty well planned out. Make money off hoaxing people? Make money off a of hoax, yeah. And he did. You didn't. I didn't. And that's why you're here. Like two or three of them that made <laughs> lots and lots of money off it. Yeah, that must anger you a lot, because you were used, basically. I was used, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's over, it's done. Uh, I decided that people should know the truth, that that film was a hoax. What's the reaction been back at home? Uh, everybody's, you know, says it's about time you come out, you know, and told them the truth. It's time for people to know the truth. Right. Right. Well, are you ready to face the lie detector? Yes, I am. Bigfoot Bob? Yes, I am. All right. Let's get you hooked up. Good doggy. Bob, please remain still. The test is about to begin. All questions must be answered by yes or no. Do you plan to tell the truth on this test about whether you were the Bigfoot shown in the 1967 Patterson film? Yes. Relevant questions must be specific. Bob, be advised any attempts at countermeasures will invalidate this test. We allow time between questions to ensure that we record all of the reactions. Are you now sitting down? Yes. Were you the Bigfoot shown in the 1967 Patterson film? Yes. This is a relevant question. Is there something else you're afraid I'll ask you a question about, even though I told you I wouldn't? No. We introduce a question that isn't scored just to compare against reactions to other questions regarding the main, or what we call the relevant issue. Was that you in a Bigfoot costume portrayed in the 1967 Patterson film? Yes. This test is over. Remain still for 10 seconds, please. Up next, the trail to uncovering the truth about Bigfoot either takes an unexpected twist or comes to an abrupt end. Bob, the lie detector has determined that you are when lie detector returns. lie detector everybody well now's the moment of truth Bob Hieronymus is going to walk away from lie detector today with a brand new label either it's going to be the real Bigfoot or a really big liar here are Bob's results Bob you came on lie detector today to tell the whole nation that you are the real Bigfoot we asked you a following relevant question was that you in a Bigfoot costume portrayed in the 1967 Patterson film? To which you answered, yes. Bob, the lie detector has determined that you are... Bob, you're telling the truth. Well, I always knew it was the truth. Everybody that I'm associated with, I've been around, knew it was the truth. I'm glad it's over. I had the best guy in the country give me this test. Now, I can prove to the world that I was 
in the Patterson Bigfoot film. Bob, you've been upset mostly because back in 1967, the Pattersons promised you $1,000 for wearing that gorilla suit, and you were never paid for it. I was never paid. Does that still upset you to this day? Oh, yes. Day? Oh, yes. That's why I'm doing all this, to prove I was the man in the suit, and I never got paid. What kind of impact do you think this is going to have on the Pattersons when this comes out, that this was all a fraud, that you are actually the man in the gorilla suit? Well, it'll tell them, it'll show them that the buck stops here. I mean, this is, this is the end of it. If we come out together and prove that that piece of film is nothing, I mean, it's, it's fraudulent, then they can't continue to make money on this. Is that what I hear you saying? That's what, uh, that's the problem right there. You know, the, the buck will stop there. They don't want that. They've been paid for years and years and years every time that film has been shown. Well, they told us we couldn't have it unless we paid $10,000. And then they told us even if we paid the $10,000, we couldn't have it because we're talking to you. That's right. They're afraid of me. So what do you say to them today? Well, the truth's out. They've known it. The whole family's been, you know, has known it for years. Do you think they're going to forget Bigfoot now? Uh, no. <laughs> they won't be forgotten for a while. The truth lives, and Bigfoot's myth does too. It will still, it will still be around. Thank God it's over with. Yes. You're vindicated. That's You've right. proved it today. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Thanks to the lie detector, another myth just bit the dust. And we want to thank Bob for finally putting that story to rest. Who knows, maybe we'll be heading to Scotland real soon to give that old Loch Ness monster a run for her money. If you or somebody you know has a great story to tell for the lie detector, why not get hooked up? You can call us at one 866 for polygraph. Now you can also visit us online at liedetector.tv. I'm Rolanda Watts, and on behalf of Dr. Ed Gelb, join us next time on Lie Detector and our search for the truth.